So, today we're going to look at one of the reasons I'm a big fan of Rockwell cubes. Um, people have asked me why or what I use to plant my seed starts, what's the best thing to use, and uh, why I use them. So, I'm just going to have a quick video to show you the pros and, and very little cons from using Rockwell. So first of all, let's just clarify. I've been working on with the hydroponics for around about four years now. I've tried lots of different things and the images you're watching right now are my successes using Rockwell cubes. So although I'm not the greatest authority on hydroponics, these are my successes and my stories. So just take that into account when you watch this video. Number one, what is rock wool and what are its properties? Now rock wool is basically what it says on the tin. It's actually rock that's been heated to a very high temperature and then spun out into the consistency of wool, much like candy floss. Now the properties of rock wool that make it such a great um, starter and um, stabilizer for hydroponics is it it basically has two properties the ability to hold moisture and wick moisture and the ability to also hold air in the same space which is really really important when you're starting seeds or growing any sort of plants one you don't want something that's going to hold too much water and not enough air because you're going to drown your plants and you don't want something with too much air and not enough water because they're going to dry out and die and rock wool has a great property of doing both of those number two ease of use rock wool cubes are very easy to use you pre-soak them uh, before you use them um, i just put them in a tray of water it allows the moisture to wick up into um, the rock wool cube and you don't need to like soak them for hours, you can just put them in some water for a few minutes and they'll have the right consistency of water. You can cut them with a kitchen knife or even just tear them apart into the individual cubes. They're soft and pliable so you can squeeze them into tight spaces like into a smaller net pot so you don't have to use Hydroton as a support base. Number three, price and availability. You can buy Rockwell cubes from specialty hydroponic stores in your area, but if you don't have one close, you can also get them online. I find that you can get some of the best deals online. Um, I've tried a few of the specialty websites for hydroponics, but the best place I found is Amazon.com. Um, I'll put a link in the description below, but I can get 200 grow cubes. Uh, one inch girl cubes for around about $19, which works out to around about nine or 10 cents per plant. And you can't really beat that. Um, if anybody can find um, a better price, please let me know. Uh, but I've been buying those for, for years from Amazon and they work out pretty good. So check the link in the description um, if you're looking for a cheap alternative. So in conclusion, I've got to say that Rockwell cubes are the way I'm going to move forward with hydroponics. Hopefully you'll give them a try. For seed starting and growing hydroponically, I feel they're the best because they're cheap, they're easily available, they're easy to use, and they're very flexible. If you guys have got any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And please subscribe to my channel and see my up-and-coming hydroponic grows.